Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, a while back, I did a multi-part video series about hair loss, the causes and natural solutions. And I'll give you the direct link to those videos at the end of this one. However, I got asked a very uh, important question the other day, one that many guys have asked me over the years about a popular hair loss drug. Now, the person's name is Tino, and he emailed me and asked, I've been taking Propecia for my hair loss for uh, about two years now. It has slowed down my hair loss and I've seen benefits. But Dr. Sam, I really need your help. I don't feel good on it. My sex drive is down and for sure I can't perform like I used to. I have to work very hard at keeping my erection and it can be embarrassing at times. However, there's another problem. I feel down. I don't feel happy. I don't feel depressed but I have no drive or anything anymore, not in the bedroom or in life. Is there a way to fix this or do I have to get off the drug? And if you're listening to this and you've had any of these issues with Propecia, um, this is actually a lot more common than you think. Uh, Merck, the manufacturer of Propecia and Proscar, have mentioned these negative side effects in their package inserts. And there are lots of websites and message boards and forums specific about these problems, such as propeciahelp.com and many others. Now, the active ingredient in Propecia and Proscar is finasteride. Now, Propecia is one milligram and Proscar is five milligram. And Propecia is typically prescribed for hair loss, while Proscar is for the prostate. Now, both reduce DHT, dihydrotestosterone, by acting as a type 2 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. And there is actually a much stronger and even better drug called Avodart with the active ingredient Dudasteride. It's both a type 2 and a type 1 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. And it blocks about 90% of the DHT, while finasteride does about 70%. Yet, here's the interesting part. Through the past two decades and me studying this topic with clients and so forth, dudasteride users seem to have less side effects than finasteride. I mean, it makes no sense, but it just seems to be the case, and I don't know why, because the drug is a lot stronger. Now, nobody knows the exact reason why these drugs cause so many negative side effects, and the truth is, there is no one exact reason. But again, after two decades and hundreds of blood tests, I've seen the same pattern over and over again. First, you don't want low DHT. You just don't want high DHT, right? Thus, somewhere in the middle range is ideal, maybe normal to a little bit lower. When it, you know, when it gets on the very lower levels or even below normal, which these drugs cause, the negativity affects your drive, mental, physical, and of course, sexual. The other problem is as DHT levels come down because of the 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, testosterone actually goes up but temporarily, and then it comes back down again because there's more testosterone to convert to estrogen via the aromatase enzyme. So now you have much higher estrogen, which causes negative emotional and sexual problems. Additionally, I've noticed higher levels of another female hormone, prolactin. And as prolactin goes up, again, your sex drive further comes down, and so does dopamine levels. And dopamine is a powerful neurotransmitter that increases happiness and drive, both in life and in the bedroom. Now you can see why all these problems are happening. Lastly, there's less blood flow due to lower levels of PDE5 enzyme and nitric oxide, which ends up causing impotence and difficulty getting or maintaining an erection. And these are all the problems that happen when you basically start screwing around with that one hormone. It basically just causes a negative ripple effect. Now, I'm not saying to get off Propecia, especially if you are seeing positive hair growth. This is up to you. However, you do need to rebalance and optimize your hormones to the similar ratios to when you were a teenager and your early 20s when you felt and performed the best. And of course, you had the most head hair. This means decreasing elevated estrogen levels and also lowering prolactin levels, the two female hormones. Then you want to increase your testosterone, which does not cause hair loss, but it does improve your sex drive, your muscle mass, your fat loss, and also your mood and happiness and well-being. You also want to raise your dopamine levels, which will make you happier and also hornier. And then finally, you want to increase nitric oxide and inhibit the PDE5 enzyme for, again, better blood flow and erections. So do these five, 
and you'll fix the negative side effects of finasteride, you know, whether you're taking Propecia or Proscar, because you'll be rebalancing and optimizing your hormones to their useful levels. You'll also have better hair and healthier prostate as well. Now, as I've said many times, genetics aside, the way you look and feel is based on your hormones and neurotransmitters. Of course, you're probably thinking, okay, great, but how do I do all this? So below in the description area, I have a direct link to natural herbs and vitamins that will help accomplish these goals naturally, all right, without drugs, without causing even more side effects, and also a formula that I use myself to rebalance all the hormones. Plus, I've added a link to that multi-part video series here on YouTube about hair loss that, again, I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video. Just know that you have to fix these hormonal imbalances now because it's only going to get worse as you get older. And I'll be honest with you, life is just too short and too valuable to have emotional and sexual side effects. Wouldn't you agree? If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.